segment two tonight, the story of an eight-year-old girl from Vallejo who defied all odds. At the age of 26, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. And I refused to let something like that take over my life. I come from a really broken home. My child predator was out to harm me. I myself have experienced firsthand cervical cancer scares. My name is Mitzi Sanchez, and the cause that I currently support is the fight against child abuse. I am a survivor of child abuse and kidnapping at the age of eight, and this is something that I am very passionate about. I support this cause because I want to give other children hope that they can live a good life after enduring child abuse like I did myself. On August 10th of 2000, I was kidnapped. For the next three days, I was forced to sit in this man's car, chained up to his vehicle by my left leg and forced to perform sexual acts for him. On the third day was the day that I found the keys to unlock the chain that was around my ankle and I made my daring escape and was able to finally return home to be with my family. I think confidence plays a huge role in, in my survival and in my healing journey because when we stand tall and confident, it makes life go along a lot smoother. I know it's important for me to be a confident person to truly portray to other young women and children that life can be okay after bad experiences. My name is Porphyria, and they call me short for Pokey. Um, the cause I'm representing is the youth. I grew up in Stockton, California. Um, the South Side Potter Stockton. Um, very rough, very rough childhood. I come from a family of 12. I have six brothers and six sisters. Uh, I come from a really broken home. Um, alcohol abuse and sexual abuse and just the streets of Stockton were just rough. You'd be lucky if you even graduated from high school. It was just rough all around for me I did, with my identity and my self-worth and where did I fit in, where I didn't, you know. I just wanted to fit in as a, as a teenager. Watch your, your surroundings. Watch the people that you associate yourself with. I heard this phrase when I was 17 years old, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And that spoke volumes. I believe that if you flock with eagles, you soar with eagles. Don't flock with turkeys because that bird don't fly. So make sure you surround yourself with, with eagles, you know, and, and just soar. Hi, my name is Chiara Elilani, and I stand for child safety and against bullying and domestic violence here to bring awareness to these causes and empower the next generation. I support these causes because it holds a serious place in my heart and I've been through personal experiences or have loved ones that have been through experiences and I see the traumatic effects that it leaves on them that can lead and grow to their future that can impact them in a negative way. So being the voice for the voiceless and standing for a cause that can make a change is my overall goal. I went into my martial arts dojo and I tried to, you know, gain some confidence and find out what I was passionate about. And I stumbled upon a child predator who was actually attracted to young women, which I didn't know because they considered to be family because I knew them when I was growing up. And it's funny how the closest people to you can do the most harm and the damage to you. So as I was going along my journey, just trying to improve myself, my child predator was out to harm me. And and he started baiting me at a very young age to it. And now I stand on behalf of these causes because it's very rampant in our communities, in our households, in our families. And people need to stand up on behalf of these causes or else it's just going to go further and further. And I believe that confidence just lets you walk up with your shoulders high and your head straight, knowing that you are beautiful, you are loved, and that you can do whatever it is that you desire. My name is Monica Jaime, and I support breast cancer and ovarian cancer awareness. At the age of 26, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. Um, my life kind of came crumbling down on me. Before I started chemotherapy, I was told I needed fertility treatment because chemo um, has a high chance of causing you to be, um, causing you to go through menopause and becoming infertile. So at 26 again, being told that you might never be a mom, 
um, was really hard. So I went through fertility treatment at UCSF. They're incredible. Um, got a lot of precious little eggs uh, saved for me. And um, I started chemotherapy for six months before my process of um, reconstructive surgery. So the entire process of recovery was about two years of putting your whole life on hold. Fearing for losing it at any moment um, and really just trying to stay as positive as you can because without positivity and love comes the downhill spiral. So I tried my best. Confidence was me wanting to see the next day and you know telling someone I love them and experiencing life at, in your young 20s um, whether that was you know traveling or becoming serious with someone um, starting a family hugging your parents hugging your nieces and nephews that made me confident because I got to see all my loved ones every day and um, hear their kind words and get hugged. I mean, hug, hugging is the most powerful thing to me. And that made me confident every single day. Hello, my name is Dana Fierce and I'm here representing uterine cancer awareness along with weight loss and being healthy in general. Back in May of 2013, I was diagnosed with uterine cancer. And at that point in my life, I was at my heaviest. They pretty much told me, you either develop the cancer or we're gonna have to take out your uterus. I refused to settle for any of those two options and I fought. I immediately changed my life around my eating habits. I started to walk, I started to exercise. And as soon as all of that started happening, everything went away. No longer diabetic, no longer had high cholesterol, blood pressure, anxiety, depression, everything went away. Um, sleeping better, feeling better, having energy, being able to walk out and, you know, have that energy and not feel out of breath, you know. So along with all of that, the cancer went away. So I firmly believe that you are what you eat and I refuse to be cancer. I refuse to let something like that take over my life. I'm in control of my life and I controlled that and I fought it and a year later, my doctor called me and she was like, I'm so happy to call you and tell you that you are no longer battling uterine cancer. You, from this moment, you are uterine cancer free. And she's like, I can't believe how much you fought. She's all, out of all of the patients that I've seen She's like, you're the top 10. You fought for your life and you're here, a cancer survivor. My name is Davina Joy and I am here representing Perfect Locks. They have kindly reached out to many survivors that are women who are trying to tell their stories of how they have gone through some events in their lives and uh, turned it around for a positive and here I am speaking on behalf of cervical cancer awareness but also um, in full vaginal cancer awareness. I had a dear friend of mine now uh, who came to me one day and said, Davina, I have cervical cancer and I was floored and I just watched her go through the battle. She was stage four cancer and I told her on her final days that I would take her with me and I have um, skipped to a little while longer, I was then diagnosed and it was painful. I had three children by then and they're my life. Um, everybody wants to say, why aren't you bigger in music? Why aren't you doing more? It's because I don't want to leave my family and I wanna be here for the people that need me in the trenches and I can't be so far away on myself that I need to be here for others. It's just what I feel my purpose is. When Lisette died, it was confirmation that I was on the right track with using my voice. But now it was me facing it. And that in itself was, it was the scariest thing knowing that um, 
My children needed me, my husband needed me, my friends needed me, so many people looked to me. That confidence you see online that the women before me today and after me are speaking of, that exudes through the beauty. I carry that and um, if it's gone because of cancer, I was, no, I'm gonna fight. Hi, I'm Priyanka Swami, co-founder of Perfect Locks. And I'm Gautama Swami, co-founder of Perfect Locks. It's very important for us to share these stories because otherwise um, people just won't know about these types of things that are happening in the world. And we want to be able to show people that they can be brave and work through adversity and become more uh, themselves and fight through these things. We're very proud at Perfect Locks to bring light to these dark things that are happening in the world. Uh, and we're very proud to be affiliated with these women who have come in to talk about their stories and share their stories with us. Um, we directly believe in women empowerment and we're here uh, to support confidence in women. It's a lovely day together, all of us, all, the whole team and crew, we came together and you guys have probably seen the journey from beginning to end. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. And you know, the support we all have for one another and we come together and the beauty of it all and it's just amazing what that can do for others and we're hoping it exudes to the rest of you watching. Um, Mitzi and I had a conversation the other day and you know, we feel that too many people and women compete when we should be compassionate for one another mm, and yeah. compliment one another. Yes. Like, don't come Motivate. for me. Don't yeah. come for me. Comfort me. I'm just yes. saying, right? I just want to say thank you so much to Perfect Locks for allowing me and my amazing girls here to, to share our stories and to beautify us and make us up. It's the best feeling to have an amazing crew take care of you from beginning to end and it truly is a blessing and um, definitely brings us up to be able to bring out not just our outer beauty but our inner beauty mm -hmm. and just want to thank Perfect Lock so much for bringing us together and giving us a platform to share our stories and give back to the community around us. I firmly believe in quality over quantity and I see that Perfect Locks has the ability to see deeper than what most you know people are conditioned to believe is what matters these days numbers and likes and you know the way things look from the outside but they see us from our stories and our standpoints and giving us this platform to speak out to the rest of you you know to give you hope because there's days we needed hope and you know other people came beside us or something we might have seen something we might have heard, um, a song or, or, or just even a scripture, anything, it gives you hope and you keep your faith and you keep going. Perfect Locks definitely represents that and we are so proud to represent them. This is just an amazing journey and we hope to see them flourish in each of us as well.